In this topic, you will understand the process of closing a period. So what's in a month in close? A few questions you would ask are, have all transactions been entered? Have all transactions been posted? What processes need to be run? How do I enter closing entries? How do I carry forward balances? What happens if I need to reopen that period? Now in preparing and closing the period, there are a few steps that include tools to ensure transactions are processed, validated, and finalized. There's a pre-closing report to eliminate issues before you close. And there are processes that make closing very simple, as well as simple reopen process functions. Now, there are several prerequisites prior to closing a period. First, you always want to back up your data. You want to enter all transactions related to the period, including the daily routine transactions like invoices, payments, and receipts. Also, recurring and calculated journal entries, as well as accruals, and any reconciliations, including bank, matching, and adjustments. You also make decisions to convert simulated journal entries to actuals to include in that period and your reversals. Then you post all necessary transactions, which include those daily routine transactions which do require validating and posting. Also your inventory interface, which includes stock movements and adjustments. You run WIP and process for manufacturing which is run from the costing module. You also run your fixed assets depreciations for the period, as well as subcontract cost calculations. Now transactions post into the general ledger from submodules in temporary status mode. Those transactions have to be finalized or in final status to be able to close the period. So you need to run the final validation task to convert those transactions from temporary to final status. At this point, you're able to close the period. Now this is done in the fiscal periods task. But prior to closing a period, you need to run the pre-close verification report, which confirms all necessary validations, postings, and conversions in the general ledger and submodules are performed, like payments not posted, or interfaces that haven't been run, which are required to close the period. Now, there are some other considerations as well. Now, the periods must be closed in sequence. You can lock periods during the closing process to prevent errors in entry. There's a utility in financials to accomplish this. Finally, closed periods can be reopened. There's also a function in financials to accomplish this as well. Now you know the process, features, and a better understanding on how to close periods.